Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. This is truly uplifting news. The NBA legend Charles Barkley has pledged to donate $1 million to a New Orleans high school. According to news reports, he has just made the first $100,000 installment payment of 10. And it all started with a math problem nearly two years ago. In December 2022, at St. Mary's Academy, there was a contest. The prize of $500 tempted seniors Nikaya Jackson and Kelsey Johnson. But the bonus question was seemingly an impossible challenge. To understand it, let's refresh a little bit of geometry. Let's say you have a right angle triangle with legs with lengths of A and B, and you have a hypotenuse with a length of C then the following formula must be true. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. You may have learned it in school as the Pythagorean theorem. Mathematicians and historians agree he was neither the first to know it and he did not prove it. So there's active interest in restoring traditional names, such as the Gogu theorem from China, the Bodeian theorem from India, Euclid 1.47 from Greece, and the Babylonian formula. In 1927, Elisha Loomis published a book, The Pythagorean Proposition, which contains over 100 proofs of the formula. Now, an important thing about mathematical proofs is you need to start from a beginning point which has not already assumed what you want to prove. Otherwise, you will end up with circular reasoning. It's like when your parents say, it's time for you to go to bed. And you ask, but why? And they respond, because it's your bedtime. So Elisha Loomis warned about circular reasoning and explained that some proofs of the formula are impossible. He flatly says, there are no trigonometric proofs because all the fundamental formula of trigonometry are themselves based upon the truth of the Pythagorean theorem. Because of this theorem, we say sine squared a plus cosine squared a equals one, etc. Trigonometry is because the Pythagorean theorem is. Loomis was saying you can't use sine or cosine to prove a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared because those trigonometric functions are themselves based upon this right triangle formula. Loomis's book has been published for nearly 100 years, and it is still used as a reference, which is why it was used in the school. No one thought it was important to correct this sentence or possible mistake of history. So the bonus question was to find a trigonometric proof of a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Nikaya Jackson and Kelsey Johnson were up to the challenge, but it was not easy. For over two months, they spent all their free time trying to find a new proof. And eventually and amazingly, they succeeded. They submitted their work to an American Mathematical Society conference in Atlanta in March 2023. And then something amazing happened. The media picked up the story and the news spread around the world. They even got a mention from former First Lady Michelle Obama and keys to the city of New Orleans. News also spread across YouTube and I presented my own take on the topic. And if that wasn't enough, the news got a huge boost in May of 2024 when CBS's popular news program, 60 Minutes, did an entire segment on the story. They say you never know who's watching your show. And in this case, it's true. The NBA legend Charles Barkley never misses a show. And he was so inspired by the story that he pledged a $1 million donation to the school. Thank you, Charles Barkley. And congratulations again to Nikaya Jackson and Kelsey Johnson. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems. 
one video at a time.